everybody I am back in Tokyo and I have just been to a meeting in Shinjuku a lot of people are obviously wearing face masks so far I've just seen Japanese people go about their daily life the majority of them like I said are wearing masks but aside from that it everything's normal also the weather today is pretty nice and I'm hoping that will boost public morale a little bit because I know a few people have been feeling very very down but yeah I am done with my meeting now and I'm going to head home this area of Shinjuku is actually one of my favorites just because the buildings are so high and so beautiful and pristine looking so before heading home I do need to pop into book off to get a bag I know it's a weird place to get a bag from a bookstore but they do sell them here because my one is falling apart and I needed to carry a lot of stuff so let's go there first So if you come into a bookstore in Japan, like Sutaya or somewhere else, like Book Off, you may be able to find bags. And they kind of look like books, but inside these cardboard boxes are actually bags. And that's, I think, the one I'm going to get today. It's just a Kangol one. I just need one for every day, something practical. Look how beautiful these glasses are. They kind of remind me of the Olympic torch. Isn't that beautiful? They're shaped like Sakura. home and I settled on buying this bag. One thing I want to say is this is packaged so extra because first of all it was in this cellophane thing then it was in this box and now I just got it out and it's in another box with all these sticky tapes all around it. I cannot get in to this box to get my bag out. Success! I finally got the bag out and it's actually pretty nice. It feels really nice quality. He's on the door. He's on the door. Oh, it's windy. Listen to this calming and peaceful music. Don't don't ram the doors with the trolley. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. So first order of business is to get some baked goods because they're really convenient to eat in the morning and tomorrow we have a big move so we're gonna stock up on them. And there's just this bakery behind me which we like and we've been going to for the last four days. So we're gonna go in there and have a look but hopefully they have what I want in stock because sometimes there's hidden meat in things. The one in the middle. Yep. Everything is wrapped in cellophane. So every hour in the Queen's Isatan, well above the entrance to the Queen's Isatan in Sasazuka, they have this performance of the chicken and the little chicks and it's really adorable because all the kids kind of like line up to watch it at least I think it's every hour don't quote me on that but it's really really cute so many strawberries oh Ooh, they've got kabocha tempura I think I prefer the kabocha one Let's get the cup of one. Mm -hmm. It's only 100 yen, which is good. They've got normal sun-dried tomato here too. Yeah, but that looks 620 yen. That is really expensive. How much is that one? 200. That would be nice. Yeah. Let's add it. We, it can last. So a side note, Japan actually has an amazing selection of frozen foods, like everything you can imagine for your convenience, just like soups and pottage. What is Tokyo borscht? Borscht. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna get this minestrone soup. We're gonna have this as a side for dinner tonight. Got a lot of stuff here. Okay, no. Does it smell good? John just said that the negi, the onion, smells really good. 
So now we're heading back to our accommodation. That was a successful outing. We got lots of delicious food. This is the place where we've been staying for the time being and it's pretty good actually. I think this place would make a brilliant business hotel because you have everything you need. You've got your stove and you've got a washing machine. Um, for long term, it's not that good because the rooms are quite small, especially the one we're staying in now. It's, it's tiny. No, the first one wasn't that bad. We had to move rooms halfway through our stay because the room wasn't available. You think that with all these cuts to tourists coming to Japan, there would be more rooms available, but that's not the case at all. People are still staying in hotels. But the place after this, which is in a completely different area, it looks quite spacious by Tokyo standards anyway. Not that I mind. It was still a very good stay. I'm going to take the mask off now. Now that we're back inside, Okay, awesome. We got everything done. Welcome to our temporary kitchen. The reason I'm saying temporary is because we are moving tomorrow and we're gonna be here just for tonight, just for one night. So we didn't buy a lot of raw ingredients because we didn't wanna drag them across Tokyo and also because we've got two suitcases and they're very, very full and I don't want any of the food to get damaged or any of the drinks to spill. So pretty much everything we got today has already been pre-made aside from the salad, which is fine. I think it's fine for one night and Japanese supermarkets have so many things that I like to eat, like pumpkin, Pumpkin, tempura and uh, sweet potato like stuff that I would not have the time or the ability to cook myself I mean I can cook pumpkin myself I just don't really know how to cook pumpkin tempura effectively with the equipment that I have which is not a lot so yeah let's get started I'll show you what we got and what we're going to be eating something that we haven't used yet John but we bought a while back is this habanero pepper sauce I've been waiting to use this and I think I'm gonna put this on the tempura today I'm finally gonna open it. So for the salad, we have the negi. I love the Japanese long onions, they are delicious. I'm pretty sure I have a video. I have a video on my channel about, literally about the Japanese long onion. That's how much I like them. And we're making a salad with these beef tomatoes, the really, really huge tomatoes. Um, some pesto. Oh, and we picked up this. I completely forgot about this. This is just diced sun-dried tomato. You can buy normal sun-dried tomato, which isn't quite as dry as this, like the ones in the jar, the ones that are in oil, but they're very expensive. They're around 400 to 600 yen, and I didn't want to spend that much just on sun-dried tomato. I guess because it's more of like a, a Western flavor, it costs more in Japan. Just like certain pasta sauces, they, they can be quite expensive here. We're also doing all our washing right now because we haven't got a washing machine yet in the next place, so we have to wash everything here and then get a washing machine. We also got cucumbers. I love cucumbers. I actually eat them in the morning sometimes. They are very hydrating and they're very easy to eat so i enjoy them a lot wow that was a weird explanation as to why i like cucumbers and of course a baguette we're gonna use the baguette with the salad and with the pesto it's gonna be delicious one of my absolute favorite things is the kabocha tempura which is the pumpkin tempura i absolutely love it we've got two of them pumpkin in japan is so good it is so much better than pumpkin in the uk i don't know what it is i think it must be a different type of pumpkin but it's just a little bit more flavorful and I actually like how widely used it is here because in the UK we don't use it that much. In Uzbekistan we use seed pumpkin all the time and we normally eat it with sour cream and one more thing that I love in Japan is the sweet potato. It's very flavorful and I just love the way they cook it like the sugar kind of caramelizes on top it's oh it's so good and then finally if you are a vegan or a vegetarian and you go to a Japanese supermarket or uh, any kombini there are two things that you should mainly look out for one is the cucumber maki which are these rolls with cucumber inside and the second thing is the inari zushi neither of these contain fish but do keep an eye out for any like kanji for fish oils but normally they are suitable for vegetarians at least that's what i found so these two sushi type dishes are suitable for me and for you if you're a vegan or vegetarian john is the cook not me i'm actually a really terrible cook no i need to wash my hands i touch packaging every opportunity i get i wash my hands i don't want to be sick I don't get sick very often. Generally, my immune system is very, very healthy, aside from when it comes to allergies. But I just really don't want to get sick. So I'm hand sanitizing, I'm wearing masks, I'm washing my hands like every five minutes. I carry a Dettol soap, which is like an antibacterial soap with me around in Japan. That is how paranoid I am about getting sick. I don't want to get sick. So it's very, very simple. We're just using beef tomatoes, cucumbers, some long onions, mozzarella, pesto, and sun-dried tomatoes. Very, very simple, but also really delicious. Are we gonna have this with all the other stuff? Yes. 
Do we need to warm anything up? Soup. Just the soup. It's quite an Italian meal. It's a Japanese Italian fusion dinner. So this is all the food we are having for dinner minus the soup. Looks good. Also, I forgot baguette. I was actually already eating it because <laughs> I really like baguette. So here is baguette. We're gonna have that with the soup. This was like 400 and something yen. It better be incredible soup. So we sat down to eat and there's just one thing that I want to mention. They always give you chopsticks when you buy stuff or sometimes they ask you if you want chopsticks and you say yes. Be careful because they've got this little toothpick in them and this thing is dangerous if you open them a little too vigorously and excitedly you might stab yourself like I have many many times so just be aware of this yeah yeah don't open them by like holding them and slamming them on the table that's that would be a terrible idea it's even got a little warning on the back which is this it's like a little hand and it's like ow so just be really really careful when opening your chopsticks in case there's a rogue toothpick in there which there most definitely is do you want some hot sauce mm -hmm. yes 